We got your calls. We got your letters. We got your emails. We got your telegrams. We got your faxes. We got so many notes, more notes than people actually who watch this, but we heard you loud and clear. I'm back. I'm back. And this week, it's just me recommending all the new stuff for the, oh, and uh, that, that, that was here too. You said I had to do this. I did, I did. Uh, hey, all right, here. so it's, uh, it's a unique week. There's a lot of uh, fun and different things. And I'm starting with the biggest one because it's a heavier one. This is an Alex Ross calendar for next year, but it's a giant fold out poster that is six feet long and two feet wide. And the best part of this is at the end of the year, the calendar part easily comes away. So you have this massive six foot Alex Ross print. I bought the art book of this print last year and this is way bigger than the print that came in that book. So that is a fun thing to have and to look at for the whole year. A fun thing to look at for probably 20 minutes is this first issue of the new Harley Quinn animated series comic book, Legion of Bats. Um, I don't watch this cartoon. I read the last miniseries because Max Saren did the art and I really fell in love with it. I thought it was great. It's a little weird because the last series is between seasons and this series is after another season. So it doesn't naturally follow on from where the comic left off. If you're watching the TV show, must read. If you are not watching the TV show but want a, a really good Harley Quinn comic, Max Saren doesn't do the art on this one, but the new art is really fun. I had a really good time with this. I don't read the monthly Harley Quinn stuff, but this was pretty much what I was looking for. Did you read this when it came out a few months ago? The Passageway, Bone Orchard Mythos, The Passageway by Jeff Lemire and Andrew Sorrentino, creating a whole brand new horror universe. This was a standalone graphic novel that sets a tone for the world, but currently they have a whole new series 10,000 black feathers. No, it's only two ninety nine on the floor. <laughs> this is issue two. Issue one came out last month. We, we have issue one still, but people may be sleeping on this, and it's great. And the thing with this universe is that it's a, a tied in universe, but you don't have to have read that to read this, and you don't need to read this to read that. So if you missed issue one of this, pick it up. These guys are so great and so moody and wonderful horror. So... Don't miss it. And if you miss the hardcover, we have a slightly damaged one that you can come pick up. <laughs> While you're also getting uh, this new number one from DC, GCPD The Blue Wall. I will be honest with you, I was not terribly excited about John Ridley doing a story about the cops in Gotham City. Um, I thought this was interesting. Uh, the art by Stefano Raffelli is pretty solid. It's um, a, a bit more nuanced than I thought it was going to be. Maybe worth taking a look at if you have not gotten your fill of all the Gotham City adjacent comics that exist in, in the world. Um, yeah, uh, more interesting than I thought it was going to be. This is where Black Stars Rise, and we got to read a preview of this a few months ago. And it's an involved mystery, but it deals with therapy and a wannabe therapist and a patient who goes missing. But it's at all about mental health, but it's also incredibly engaging and a good, like, whodunit kind of thing. Nadia Shamas, Marie Anger, both of them are so great. Marie Anger, who just got married this past weekend. <gasps> Congrats. And who may be here on Friday, November 8th, for a thing. November 8th? November 18th. I mean, maybe November 8th, I don't know. Who knows? I don't keep track of her. There's an 8 in it, that's all I remember. Uh... I think this is real cute. Uh, it's the Evil Secret Society of Cats. Uh, it's a bunch of four-panel gag strips where the premise is um, true to life, where uh, every cat in the world is secretly conspiring against humanity. And every... That is true to life. Every weird, dumb thing cats do is actually some secret plot to... I knew uh, it! ...rule the world. It makes sense. Yeah. Uh, very cute, very fun stuff. Uh, if you picked up Baby Bear's Bakery or if you've picked up... Um, some of the other like comedy manga we've picked up, this is very much in that kind of cute, funny, a little mean uh, genre. Dark Ages, a Marvel crossover written by Tom Taylor. Who can do no wrong? Nightwing, for example, Nightwing's out this week. Also, um, they lied to us about Nightwing. I pitched it heavily in the email newsletter because of solicitation. 
was for a whole different story. So this issue of Nightwing, excellent, but right in the middle of a story. So be careful of that. But anyway, this is a what if all the electricity went out in the Marvel Universe and how the heroes survived. And it is a very, it, it is generational in its storytelling. It's futuristic, it's apocalyptic, it's the whole Marvel Universe. And it was excellent. And when I first heard the premise a couple years ago, because this got delayed from the pandemic, when I first heard the premise, I'm like, I don't know about that. Nailed it. So good. This is also the last ever Tom Taylor Marvel book for at least a while. He's got a currently exclusive DC contract that's going to keep him from doing more Marvel stuff. So if you want to see him writing characters like Spider-Man and The Thing and Iron Man. And, and Wolverine. And, and Wolverines. Uh, this is the book for you. And lastly, I have a manga, which is, um, well, I was going to say different but most mangas are different this is drip drip and this is about a woman who whenever she encounters something dirty and by that i don't mean muddy i mean adult oriented you mean this is wrapped in plastic so it's that yeah. kind of dirty whenever she encounters something dirty she gets a violet nosebleed so how does somebody find love when they can't physically love somebody this is one of the most anticipated mangas of the year. The art is a little bit rough and a little less manga-ish than yep. you may be expecting. And it is for adults only. And there is a short story involving Santa Claus. Uh, however, this is quite the interesting concept and I would look forward to it for a while. So there you go. Just some of the books that are out this week that you shouldn't overlook. And we will see you here in Challengers. Look on the floor for all the comics. <laughs>